Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So we're almost finished with our auth hook right here. So we just need to add the login and the lockout still. So let's get started. All right, so before we continue, I just want to mention a couple of things. The login and the lockout right here. Now I'm going to design them with Sanctum session based authentication in mind. That just means that the session needs to be shared between the back end and the front end. In order to do that, they need to be on the same domain. Now in our case, we will host our app for Laravel is hosted on localhost 8000 and our front end is hosted on localhost 3000. All right, so that will basically share the session. Now for us, for the token-based authentication, because we designed the API with the token-based authentication in mind, I will add that a little bit later to our login and our lockout right here. But I want to just mention that up front. So if you guys want to see the session-based one for now, then later on we will add the token-based. Okay, so I just want to get the app done for now, just the basics. Then after that, I will just switch it over to the token base so that you guys have both if you need to just reference and know how to do both. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do in our use author right there, we're just going to add our middleware. So in the middleware, we're just going to set that to an empty object. Just like that. So if the person is going to in our pages, we're going to set the middleware, let's say the dashboard, we want the person to be authenticated and we can just add auth right there. Okay. So that is that right there. So the first part. So for our login, we're just going to create a constant called login and we just want to set that to a synchronous method and an error function like this. Okay. So in here, we, if there's any errors, so let's say the person locked in, and the email is wrong or the password is wrong we just need to need to let them know if there's any errors so the first one is we're going to set the errors errors like this and the other one is the properties okay so props so like email and password all right so we're going to set errors and the props right there okay so by default we just want to reset the errors so we're just going to set the errors to basically an empty array so let's do that by default okay then we just gonna await for the crf token right there okay so let's just do that so await csrf okay so we're just gonna wait for that token now here is where the lock-in is going to happen so we're just going to call on axios which you just need to make sure that we import it as well so let's see if we have it so as you can see we've got axios in there so axios the first part is we're going to do a post request okay so post and then we're going to go to the path forward slash login okay in our laravel app i just quickly created the raft list again so as you can see we can go forward slash login and the other one is just forward slash lock out so it's not api in front of that okay that is just for the articles the author and the user right there Right, so in here we just want to pass in the props as well okay so we've got the props now that's basically we're going to hit that endpoint the login and then right we're just going to mutate and the mutate is just a property that is part of our swr right so what that will do it will just revalidate the swr cache okay so after we have done that here we can redirect now in this case we let's see if we had bring in the router as you can see we got the router right there now what we can do is we can redirect them so as soon as they're locked in we can say where they need to go to in my case i'm just going to say go to the dashboard i haven't created this route yet so but we're going to do that so we haven't added that page yet but as soon as they're locked in all right, so just revalidate the cache and then we just push to the dashboard right there. Okay, so if there is any errors, we need to catch them. Okay, so we're just going to say catch. And then if there's any error, okay, let's just create an error function right there. So if there's any error, but we just want to check first if the error in the response status is not equal to. 
four to two, then we just want to throw the error. So let's just quickly throw the error. Now four to two is basically just unprocessable entity error. All right, but what we want to do is if there's any errors, we just want to set them. So let's just quickly set the errors because by default we just make sure we set them to an empty array. So okay, so we just want to get the object. Okay, dot values. All right, and then the errors. Okay, so error dot response dot data dot errors. Okay, so that is all the errors that we get. We want to set them. Okay, so in here we just want to say flat. All right. Just remember this is for Sanctum session based. We're still going to update this for the token based. Okay, so for now that our login all done. So let's quickly do our lockout. All right, so let's quickly create our lockout. So we're just going to create a constant and we're going to call it lockout and we're going to set that to an asynchronous function. And in this case, an arrow function. All right, and then we're just going to await. Okay, so we're going to wait for axios dot post. Okay, so we're going to post to our lockout route that we created in our API. So I just need to add a forward slash right there. All right, and then we're just going to say mutate to null. Just like this. So after we locked out, we just want to we can decide where we want to go to. If you want to go to the home page where all the articles are listed, or you want to redirect the user basically to the login again, you can do that. Now in my case, I'm just going to push them to, let's just do a round to push. Now in here, we can just say, let's go to the login page. So we can do like login, or we can just go to the main page. All right, so where all the articles are, where they don't need to be authenticated to view them. Okay, but you can decide either or, totally up to you. All right, so let's add our last part called use effect. Now, all this does, it, it just tells React what to do after the component is rendered. Okay, so in this case, we're just going to edit an error function in there. All right, so let's go on the, to the top right here and make sure that we import that. So this just needs to change to React. Just make sure we import that. And another one is we need to make sure that we use the state as well. Otherwise, we're going to get an error. I haven't imported this part yet. So just make sure you import it right there. All right, so let's go down. So in our user pack right here, we just want to put a loading state to false if we got the user or any errors. So, okay, so we just want to check. All right, so if there is any user or if there's any errors, okay, so we're just going to do that. And then we just want to set it basically. Set is loading and we just want to set that to false. Okay, so just like that. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we want to check the middleware. So if we're going to do this, so if middleware, if the middleware is equal to, let's say, the guest middleware, okay, and the user, then what we want to do is we want to redirect the user. So put the user to the just the main page. Okay, that one right there. Now let's add another one. So this one, if the middleware is auth, okay, so let's just do the middleware. If that is equal to auth, And we can just check for the error. Then we just want to push that basically to the login page. So we can just say router.push. Let's remove that. And we just want to say go to the login page. Okay. Just put a forward slash in there. All right. So that's basically our auth all done. So don't worry about this. This is just ESLint stuff that I, we need to add and fix. All right, so thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please ask them for me in the comment section. Do all the YouTube stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.